All right. So, um, what what you're struggling with in the top lane? You think? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe just like macro. Macro. Uh, All right. Macro. I don't know. Like mechanic wise, Darius is pretty simple. I mean, you just go aggro and free six against most <laughs> matchups, and you you just run them down. But, yeah, but like... there's more to it than only like micro and macro. Let's say. Uh, do you know how to manipulate the wave? Yeah, yeah, you can shove the wave and shit like that, and get it frozen, and then go some down and stuff like that. <laughs> well, that's uh, yeah, that's a short briefing. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, so the two most well, important. Uh, well, what, 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 yeah. what do you want to know about macro? Uh, about, uh, sorry, about wave management. So I'm just gonna give, brief you a bit with uh, tips I can give you for top lane. So sure, the sure. most important parts about top lane is how you play around the wave. So everything you need you do in the lane should be around the wave. So for example, you go in the lane now. What's your what's your tell me now? What is your plan in this laning phase? Um. Well, I guess I should have shoved to get level two first, and then maybe I could get a ward or something. But I didn't. I think I just played really safe because I had no idea about the the matchup versus Rumble. I didn't know if I had mm -hmm. to play like safe early because these flame spitter can do a lot of damage. Yeah. So I okay. think I played really safe, which is probably a mistake. You're probably gonna tell me it's a mistake, but yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna tell you it's a mistake. I'm just uh, trying to get you thinking about how to think about the game. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just yeah, you have sure. to. So two most important tips: wave management, and second of all, you need to play this game in a consistent manner, and you need to play this game with a plan in mind every time you play. Okay. So that's sure, why sure, every time sure. level one, right now you need to have a plan already made. Okay. So what are you going to do? Push the wave, get level two first, whatever. Uh, get a cheater recall thing going, or just go invade the jungle, what what not, or just let him push you in and uh, just wait for a jungle gank or whatever. You need to have it mapped out from the beginning of the game. Okay. Sure, and. Uh, sure. So, um, for example, now you said you play passive against a rumble because you're not sure I, of the matchup. Yeah, I think I waited until level three because I knew I'd be stronger level three, and then that's not I bad. Uh, it's not bad, but in general, in a melee versus melee matchup, you want to try to get wave control uh, because you want to sure, punish sure. level two against level one. Okay, you know when you're level two, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's what you want to do, but against some champions like Rumble is like a champion that can push a lot with his flame spitter. So mm, it's not, mm, mm. it's not a, uh, like you probably if he if plays as well, probably you will not get wave control. But depends on how you play as well. You can just run him down, especially when he started uh, boots and pale pots. That's yeah, pretty weird yeah, by yeah, so weird. yeah. <laughs> uh, that's I think he why... rushed um Sorks. Yeah, that Sorks Sork is good, but. Uh, Boots first item is like it's not bad, let's say, but it has no he has no combat power in the beginning and only has sustain a lot. Yeah. So if you catch him in like two big trades and then he's dead or what and whatever, All right? Yeah. So that's the plan, and also you have to be careful of the jungler. So for example, now what 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 information you have with the jungler? Uh, well they invaded bot right, so like I don't know I don't know what that means because I don't really play jungle too much. They invaded what? Well, I think I think they put. At the start of the game, they showed themselves bot, I think. But I don't... So, uh, what I'm trying to uh, get you thinking here is What, what that, are you trying uh, to say? <laughs> that's, that's fine, don't worry. <laughs> so, what I'm trying to get you thinking is that this guy showed top straight away, okay? Therefore, uh, high chance oh, okay, that he's starting leeching. bot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it wasn't leeching. And yeah. these guys aren't yet here, but we can still watch. And maybe there's a leechless thing. Maybe this guy show up straight away in lane as well. Then maybe we don't know where he is. But at the moment, we can assume that he's bot lane, depend, uh, looking at this guy didn't leash at all, and this guy's are not in lane yet, okay? And you need to, you need to watch this, because you, uh, if he starts here, then Akazix will probably just gank you at 240, 230, 250, depending on how his clear speed is, okay? So, yeah. that's why we need to understand that well, 230, we need to be careful and maybe put a word down to just, play, uh, just be safe. And if you get a cheater recall, do you know what the cheater recall is? No, I don't. No. So a cheater recall is basically slow pushing the first two waves. So you you actually yeah. push, but you you do it in a slow manner. Your last you, hitting, yeah, yeah. Uh, last hitting, and also if he's pushing as well, you push as well because you want to be the one. Yeah, pushing. you speed. Yeah, you want to yeah, be yeah. the one pushing though. You want to be the one hitting level two first, okay? But uh, yeah. you, you slow push the first two waves in a way that the third wave will reach this spot or not it will not reach the tower. We just the wave will be here or here somewhere around here, and the third wave yeah. you, you want to fast push. Okay, the cannon wave. You're yeah, so lot, yeah, he misses he misses the cannon and then well he misses a lot of minions under the towers and then you recall and you come back and the waves reset. Yeah. Okay. You come you actually so the the thing about this is you trade with him before that of, uh, as well probably. You get him low or just maybe just straight the bit doesn't matter. You crash the wave, yeah. You recall, you regenerate all your HP and mana. 
you get an item mm -hmm. advantage, so you buy a longsword at Doran's Blade, okay? And, and he has back. to stay because of the wave. He has right. to stay because the, the wave will be here, equal, therefore he's yeah, bouncing the back to you, okay? So the cannon, yeah. the cannon yeah. wave is, is, is broken, but then the next wave will meet here, and if an equal wave meets towards this side, it's pushing towards your side. Therefore, when this wave uh, eventually will push, you can just trim the wave. He's low already, he has no item, you have an item advantage. Therefore, you can just wait yeah. and wait for him to push. And therefore, the wave will be here eventually. And then you can set up a freeze here. And then if he wants to break the freeze, he will just have to come into you and you probably just kill him because you have item advantage yeah. and he's low, low HP as well. Okay? If he doesn't come up to break the freeze, then he just TPs back to lane and you just get TP advantage or just summoner spell advantage. You don't have TP. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's a lot of talking, but it's just uh, just so you know the... No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. So you fuck him up early, and then you can get an item vanish, and the yeah. wave will sit. That's how. Anyway. That's what yeah. you do with the, the... That's why you get wave control is very good, because you can... You, you allow yourself to do that, or go for maybe an invade here with your jungler, or just get whatever you want to do. It's just uh, having prio in lane is the best thing, and uh, getting it from level 1 is uh, also the best thing, because you so, can get away with level 2 against level 1. So you can do that with champions that don't run TP, like if you're running like Ignite or a Ghost, for example. Yeah, like, it's you even... can still get it and not. Mit, mit, but once you miss out on like some XP, and it'll have like XP you'll... advantage over you. If you did a cheater recall, you'll miss three melee minions. Okay. But uh, the trade is worth it in but, the end. But in the end, because you'll have you'll, you'll have, have full, full HP, full extra mana, item. extra item. Like it, a, it can be a like call another as Doran's well. Blade or something. Yeah, depends. On, depends yeah. on who, who you're playing against. Let's say you're playing against a Renekton, then you'll not be able to kill him because you'll have a full wave and full fury bar. Therefore, you coming to lane and freezing will, will not be possible. But you can do what you can get it call, okay? So if you're against a champion mm. that you know you cannot kill because they have like what fury bar or not, okay, and they're full, then you just get a call and you get, you get that item, and that item will give you a lot of extra gold in the end, and you uh, you win sure. out in the end. You see what I mean? Sure. So that's what's happening with this uh, idea, and it's good to be doing. All right. Okay. All right, sure. Let's see how you play this. So you said you played defensive. Yeah. So, I think I just let him shove. It's not too bad because, like I said, he the rumble is kind of annoying to you. Cannot really do too much. You, you try to get wave control here, which is good. Yeah, it's good. Why did you start? All right, there we go. Q is fine. So you're not really you don't really lose too much in the wave control. It's kind of equal at the moment. So far, it's so good. The boots aren't really working for him so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, now you'll see later. It's annoying. It's annoying. I miss out on a kill later, but oh, I mean, see. See. yeah, that's fine. I mean, now we have wave control. By the way, he's out. He's no no flame spitter at the moment. We have this minion that will give us level two. If he's not paying addition, we can yep. get level two before he gets this minion, and then we can. No, I get I get level two first. Yeah, of course. It's, uh, yeah, but he's out already, so he's not dumb. So, I mean, I don't know what he's doing at this moment. Oh, okay, there he is. Oh, he's like he's like chilling in the brush because he didn't have flames, but I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do, right? <laughs> right, nice try. Oh, so see, far, I, so good. I, <laughs> I kind of fucked there, but it's all good. Yeah, it's fine. It happens. You cannot judge it too much on this. But at this point, I lose the trades so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember when I said at this point the jungle will be a factor in the game because he started here. Sure. Therefore, two thirty sure. to forty to fifty, depending on what how what he clears and how how fast he clears. He'll be around Action here, board. okay? So yeah, here, yeah. it's not. Oh, if it were, it's it's risky because, like I said, to, if they do, if he does this into this and this, he'll be here at two thirty. Okay? He'll be here waiting. Sure. Yeah. Sure. So if you word is bad, but you need to just play. And now the thing about yeah, the, yeah. the thing about the cheater recall I told you about, it's not even, it's not really possible because the wave is not too big on your side, and you cannot really push him. You cannot really push this whole wave in and catch in the tower, yeah. okay? Safely, yeah, yeah. that is. You'll just get harassed by this guy, and you also get probably ganked, okay? So that thing is out of the table right now, but you have to just switch your plan now, okay? It's not, it's not a problem, because you cannot really do that against uh, this guy. If there was, this was some, someone else, our champion, then it would have been, been easier for you to do the cheat recall thing, okay? But I'm just trying to get you yeah, thinking yeah, yeah. to always play the game with knowledge and with information, okay, around the information you have. That's why playing consistently is the way to go, all right? So you're just playing this game more of like a strategy game more than anything, okay? If you think about it this way, then you'll be in a better spot than anyone else, all right? Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so at the moment, you can even opt to play safe. It doesn't matter uh, if you just, uh, you, you're not in a position to trade with him. Whatever. Let's say you want to just stomp this guy in lane. But if you do that here, and this guy is here like he, he might be, okay? 
then you just lose out and you're not getting anything. You die, you'll not, no TP to TP back to lane, you just lose a lot of minions as well. So might as well play safe with yeah. your opportunity. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I do play safe here. Yeah. Like I said, I was just not sure about the matchup, so I just yeah. wanted him to shove me into tower. That's like... fine. So now, even now, you can just wait and let him shove you in. Um... Yeah. Right, let's see. Like, like he, he walks away when my cannon's getting low. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what he's... Maybe he's scared, of, <laughs> he's scared of the gang as well. He knows maybe he started here, and this guy sure. might be coming as well. So he doesn't know either what what's happening with the jungler. Now you don't know either. You don't know where, where he is. Sure. We see the, we see on the replay that he did this 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 camps, okay? But that's normal, because he wants to do the three camps, uh, three camps or four camps, and then gank with the Kha'Zix, mm. okay? Depends on what you want to do, but he can do that easily. So now the wave is kind of fucked for you because we actually... Yeah, it's pushing. It's more pushing the casters, yeah. Yeah, more casters, this as well. So now it's a b very bad position for you to be in because you'll just get probably ganked. Now you should be uh, uh, ping your jungler to come for help, maybe. Okay, because uh, if this jungler was good, he would just be standing here and and making your life yeah. a, mi uh, a misery. You will just be out of lane, and this wave will have been pushing yeah, towards him. Off the he will just uh, yeah. trim the wave and then recall, and then come back to lane with the wave still frozen, and you have no TP to do anything, okay? Yeah. So yeah. let's see what happens here exactly that leads us to this point, because we actually... This Q actually just messed up the situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what did I, what did I do? I queued two melees or something? So the queue, you just killed the ranged mini min minion and that was uh, actually okay. pushing as well. And the, also, the, the you, didn't, you didn't have to do that queue. So at this point, like I said, at this point, the situation is uh, already, you cannot do the cheater recall thing anymore. This guy is probably topside. You don't know. He, you just, you can't assume he's here for what I know. Okay. So at this point, you should just concede. Because this guy, look at this guy. He did a full clear boss side of the map. Okay. Therefore, yeah. you should yeah. be now. You should be like, okay, I can see totally. I cannot do anything anymore. I just wait. I don't even try to just uh, uh, push. Uh, look, you look this Q, destroy this minion, push this minions here instead of just wait. This minion was doing work like attacking. Okay. And yeah, also, like CS, CS doesn't matter too much early, so you can just as long yeah. as you get the XP, like it's yeah, fine. Exactly. Like I don't have the Q so, to get the CS and unnecessarily shove the lane. Exactly. Sure. So it's all about how the wave manipulation plays out in the end. Okay. So you get 35 gold here or whatnot with the, because I killed two, min two minions. Okay. But in the end, this will cost you more because now, look, like I said. This wave is pushing back to him uh, at this point, okay? So, and so I miss out on. Yeah, so you miss yeah. out on more in the end. Look, you miss out on this one, and this one as well for the like C uh, CS wise, okay? But it's no problem. You just have to think about the bigger picture, which is the wave manipulation, okay? For example, now look at he he's doing good at, at the moment, right? That's why it's so important because if they set up the wave correctly or you set up the wave correctly, you you you'll set up k kills and ganks, okay? Oh my god, yeah. So why am I going for that caster? Like. Yeah, yeah, so that's that's what I mean. And now what you can do if you if he messes up, you can just bait his flame spitter, just push the wave back. Okay, but you need to be yeah, careful yeah. of this guy. <laughs> so the, before doing this, you should be going here alone. If he's if he's chasing you, you need to go back because they might just uh, collapse on you here. If he's not chasing yeah. you, then you just put a word here. You probably just uh, if if Kazix shows up, you probably win, uh, or you have flash just in case. It's unfortunate, but you just blow flash. It's fine. Okay, but you have to know that uh, if he's here or not. Okay. If you want to do this thing, like I told you, just bait his flame spear, just push the wave back into you, so you, you're not yep. exposed. Okay. Yep. Yep. For sure. So it's all about the wave in the end. You see, it's not about okay, I hook him in, I kill him, whatever. I'm Darius. Okay. <clears throat> so he's playing very good actually in this uh, lane phase. But let's see, Kazix mid. So Kazix just showed mid. We can do whatever yeah. we want now, basically, with this guy. This guy is... Uh, that's why mad. I went in. That's why I went in. Yeah, you just hooked him in here. Let's see. And I got a huge wave. I think I, think I almost killed him here. Well, his HP is deceiving. Like You, you see, he was full HP, but he has no... You have, like, Doran's, Doran's shield. He has no HP uh, item. There, yeah, and there, there's a huge caster wave there as well. Like, yeah, the, the wave as well. Like, that's why... The wave here is frozen. Yeah. Uh, it's good for him, but uh, if if uh, he's fighting in this wave straight away, that he's is is losing on it. Okay. Yeah. So now because this guy is showed mid, we can afford to do this, and now we can afford to just push the wave. So you're playing good so far. Just that small thing there with the Q, but not too big of a problem to be honest. It's just I'm just saying uh, this to you to just understand how well, yeah, what's the thought yeah, process. Yeah, okay. So now, for example, now you should not be pushing this ever from now on. Look at mm -hmm. this again. So I, we saw the guys after this. Let's see this again. So your goal now. 
you just push him out of lane. Your goal now is to push this as fast as possible so he doesn't TP to the lane and freezes you here again. Okay? Yep. And yep. you should recall after this straight away. You don't have to even think about going for anything here. I don't know why you're walking up here. You should now you should be just going back straight away because this is already done. Gonna die. Yeah, yeah. So now this is a mis big mistake because this is yeah. What are you yeah. doing? He has TP. So he will just TP here. I think okay. I th I think I think I was trying to get him to TP because I'm not sure if he was just gonna save it. He is gonna uh -huh. he's gonna back anyways here. He's he's backing straight away. He's like one HP. Okay. So he backed and TP back to lane. That's what they do with TP. Okay. And if he if he backs in time and TPs to the wave, then you're fucked. That's why. They, that's why. Mm -hmm. uh, if I was Rumble here, I would just back straight away to try to get TP on the on the when the wave. I don't think yeah. he had time yeah. for it. It was a mistake, of course, of course. So yeah. that's why you have to think about this uh, a lot. Okay. Just okay. I just get the wave. Yeah, it's too greedy. Just go back straight yeah, away. Yeah, it's too greedy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, too greedy for sure. And now, yeah, this guy is an it's a bonus. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. Even I did my guy. best to get away here, but you know, I was I was pretty fucked. Yeah, he TP'd here as well. Yeah, he TP'd there. If he TP'd the tower, I would have gotten out, but you know. Probably, but so small thing, but just cost you a kill. Uh, won't cost you too much in the end because you'll be able to catch back and lo not lose minions. Okay. Uh, but still, it's a avoidable death. Okay. Hey, and the the kill went to Kazakh, so it was. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's okay for but, your lane, but... but that, that, came back, that came back to bite me later. <laughs> Is he, but, like, well, getting um, fed or not, or something? Yeah, he, he got he gets really fed. But he doesn't even, like, like win the game. Like, well, he contributed to the... I, I, I'm, more on, I'm more on the session to focus on the macro, because, like, I do end up winning lane. But it's just more about, like... Yeah, but uh, you next. need to understand how these things work to get the oh, yeah, in the yeah. lane phase, okay? Oh, of course. So Let's of go course, over so. this, and then, uh, faster, then. Alright. So... Boots, long sword. He's... You get no potions. You, did you have money for a potion? You have money for one pot. Always buy a pot or a fillable potion, uh, and this early into the game. Okay, okay. Uh, you really need sure. it. It's very helpful. Now, don't even think about trying to freeze this. Whatever the savior. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because I just need to get as much CS as possible. CS yeah. as possible. You cannot really freeze this wave ever in any world. So getting yeah. extra. Then that's good. It's nothing bad happened. So it's okay. <clears throat> He still has TP. What? Okay. He, st he didn't buy when he TP'd here, so. That's fine. Okay, now what, what's your, what do you want to do now? Uh, so he just backed? He, I don't, yeah, I don't, we don't know what, what he did. Slow push. So you cannot freeze this. You just low push. Yeah, so I think I slow push. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Because you deny him as much as possible, like three melee minions and maybe more after that. And you also build up a mm. wave on your side. If you push this wave too fast and you don't don't deny anything, you know, he also catches up to the wave and you don't get anything. Yeah. Okay. Top, slow top's pushing. To, to yeah. that slow fast. pushing is, yeah. the, is the way to go in this situation. So you know, so you, the wave meets here, so you clear the wave in a safe spot. Yeah. So that's how I forward this. You try this, it's fine. Also, we don't have information on anybody right now, Kha'Zix, I mean. So, again, no information, don't really be... Instead of standing here, you should stay, stand here, okay? Because here you can just gank, gank, gank easily, okay? If you stay here, it's harder for them to do a gank on you, okay? If he comes to this side, right? Sure. Small, a small thing again, but might as well know it. Right, so now again... We don't really know where he is, so our goal is just to push the wave and try to stay stay as, as this side as possible. Um, yeah, walking here is, uh, let's say, fine. You're level 6, so you're not really too scared of that. Huge wave about to crash into this tower. Well, yeah. <laughs> and now let's see what you do with the wave. Kha'Zix mid. I got no pink word. Okay. So usually when you have a big wave crashing, you have primary lane. That means you can just go ahead and poke them on the tower maybe, but you can't really poke with Darius. Yeah, he flame spitted me when uh, when they crashed, so I can, just walked away. You can go for a recall in the situations. If you crash a wave like this, you can go for a recall. You have money to go recall here and buy items. You can go for a deep word mm -hmm. if you have a word to put, but you don't have any pink word or, or normal word. So here, mm -hmm. instead of just not doing nothing, what I would have done is just uh, let's look at your so you have 700 gold that that's a uh, you can you can buy stuff with this okay so you get let make sure that this wave crashes so it doesn't freeze and then just go back and recall okay or if like let's say he pushes very fast when he, he, he sees you recall or something you just stay lane but you uh it's no reason for you to stay here you see what i mean yeah so nothing you get nothing out of just standing standing here and pushing this wave 
and you actually get chunked here, and you also fuck up the wave a bit, so you lose this minions probably. Uh, so you see what I mean. Again, prior and lane, nothing to do. Just recall, get your items, come back to the lane. Wave is pushing to you. You're fine. Okay. Sure. Sure. So that's that's uh, what I mean with this. Wave pushing to you, you call your jungler, very good. He has no flash too, so it's easy kill. He's dead, right? Yeah. Uh, you have ghost. Yeah, I think. He, oh, no, no, we missed out. We missed out on the kill, I think. Yeah, yeah ghost. You can just ghost and E him in, and then he, this guy stuns him, and then he's probably dead. I think I do go on him later, but because he has boots and I don't, I think he got to get away. Again, so this, this wave shove. is good I'm for you. I'm letting him shove. Oh. I'm letting him shove so I can ghost him further. I think that's what I did here. Yeah, that's fine. The Q was kind of, kind of. Anyway, that's fine. He just pushes too much. Here we go. There you go. He's dead. Still right. In. Oh, okay. Maybe that's ladder kill that I missed. Yeah. So basically, yeah. the wave pushed to him, to you. He was forced to just push the wave, and he just got a kill out of that. Very easy there, your stuff. Yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. Let's just fast over this. Uh, where are you going? I recall. Are you scared of the jungler? Your your, your guy is here. You can just push this wave. <laughs> Let's say you have a very very big hunch that this guy is here, then it's fine to recall. But you have this ward here, and you have Jax around like here when you started going back. So you can afford to push this wave and deny him even more minions. He's still dead. Okay. Okay. Sure. So it's just a small thing, but uh, let, let's say this guy wasn't here and this ward wasn't here, then just back straight away. It's fine. The wave is fine. Okay. The wave is not bad sure. either. But it's just, if you have information, then you might as well just try to push, okay? Sure, sure. So guys, so, so up here, let's say you were pushing the wave. The wave is pushed already by the time he shows up here, you just go back off, okay? <clears throat> but it's fine, all good so far, no, no, no big problems. Uh, what is this, though? Uh, well, Kha'Zix is 4-0, and Caitlyn's 2-0. Yeah, so but you're, like, well... you're facing this guy most of the time. So... Uh, when you're in a situation, let's say you the whole team is AD, for example, and the, your guy is AP, then you you don't even think about buying like ninja tabais. You just wait for it until you get out of the lane. Let's say at, at 15 minutes you probably buy ninja tabais, but uh, up until that point you don't I, buy that thing because it's not it's not efficient. Okay. I, I was worried about the um just the movement speed difference between him having full boots and then myself. I, mean, I was running Nimbus, but it's still. You probably really you probably just kill him with Ghost up. That's it. So with Ghost, you have more movement speed than him. Sure. So I understand what you understand your your point though. So it's it's fine that you think about these things though. But like I said, uh, I if you want Ninja Tabais in this in this situation, yeah. But if you buy yeah. this, it's nothing. It, it does nothing for you in the lane, and you need it for the lane at, at the moment. It's not not even ten minutes into the game. Sure. We don't know where Kha'Zix is, so we might as well just play safe. You have a, you didn't buy any pink wards yet. I don't know if you had enough money, but probably you did. So probably. Maybe before going to lane straight away, just go ahead and put a ward here. Maybe pink ward here, and normal ward here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Better just to be safe because now we we can't really. If we go for this, it's just a bit blind. So now he could have been here for what I know. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, sure. I'm trying to get you thinking to always do a consistent play. Okay. So. You cannot yeah, do this place without information, okay? You have no information yep, yep. yet. Let's say you spot him bot side and you go for this, it's fine. But if you go for this without information, this is just a coin flip. This is just, okay, he might not be here, he might be here. Then if he's here, I die. If he's not here, I probably kill him, I probably not. So it's more chances of you just dying and losing out, okay? Sure. Oh, wow, he didn't get yeah. a flash. Oh, my God. Yeah, so if he had, he had that extra movement speed, really fucked me there. <laughs> yeah, but, but the wave is that's good right. for him too. So might as well just let him take the flash and just ignore the thing. Okay, just take the flash, don't, mm. don't overcommit. Uh, because now he kind of lose out here a bit. He has TP too. But it's fine. No big problem. But like I said, this play in the, in the first place, it wasn't fine to do because you don't know where the guy is. Is the, cut, the jungle. Sure, for sure. And also, look, he TPs back, he freezes the wave here. He, yeah, he defeats the wave. You lose two waves here against two waves, so he he actually won this. He might have stopped the wave, but yeah, <laughs> it's fine. Then I do one wave. It's enough. Okay, Ninja Tabai's rush, not my favorite. Okay. So let's keep going. You said you have problems with the macro, so we kind of went over the laning phase, pretty much all of it. Yeah. What yeah, happened? So let's just go over um, exactly. Get a kill here. Push. 
So what's your concern? Like, what do you what do you think? Do you think uh, you don't well, know? Well, I to end do? up getting I end up getting a lot of gold on myself, and we end up losing the game anyway. So I think there was a few like dis like decisions with like objectives and stuff. Like so that, let's though. see the mid game then decisions. So you take the tower top side, right? Yeah, you take the tower top side. Now, yeah. what what is your plan now? What do you think you should do in this situation? Well, I think Kiwi's pushing top, so I just want to catch the wave and then stick for my team. So catch the wave and then uh, go for your team. Yeah. See, I we wanted to get the shutdown here on um. Kazakh, so I think we did get it. Yeah, you did. One K gold, Jesus Christ. One more K gold. No. Anyway. So yeah, <clears> I yeah, get a lot of gold myself. Yeah. But I don't know, like, just how to use the gold on... So, uh, a general here. rule, uh, you take, the, let's say mid-game, yeah, you take tower, you get a lot of gold, then what your goal should be is always go top and push the wave, have pressure in the wave, okay, just push a lot. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. you can do... Drag the team to me, and then I can run away. That that as well, you can do that to just drag pressure on you, but you're, I want you yeah. to say that you either... Go for deep wards. You go for jungle camps to take them uh, out of uh, uh, from them. Okay. Off Cossacks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Deep wards, jungle camps, rift herald if it's up. More vision around here. Uh, maybe gank mid. You can also roam mid at this point after you push the wave. That is okay. Maybe just go for a deep, uh, recall and then uh, go straight bot walk and then go stop and then you kill the bot lane if they have no summoners for example. So you have a lot of options. Sure. Okay. But it's all around. Let's say you take this tower. Then the next objective should be getting this tower and this tower. This is the next objective because you open you open up the map. Sure. Okay, and sure, also also sure. dragons and this. So you have if you have TP, then you also it's very good for you with TP to just uh, be silent and just TP whatever is happening on the map. You're you're Darius, so you don't have TP, so that's fine. But that means you just have to push the waves, and if, if you can kill him, if you can run him down, then do that. If not, just go for deep words, go for roam mid, go for whatever. Okay, sure. That's sure. basically how you want to impact the map. Let's see how you do here. I uh, don't have ghosts. If you had ghosts here, you could have just went for him probably here. But I don't think yeah, you know where yeah. Kazix is, so maybe just to stay more safe. It's fine, not bad. I, prob I probably would have pressed ghost anyway, knowing myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what I know so far, yeah, you we'll probably double will. Buffs. We'll well, double buffs, two levels up. <laughs> double buffs, double yeah. buffs to tri Triforce is not like, at this point. There's no way I lose, man. <laughs> it gets to a point. It gets to a point now. Uh, you, you have you have a lot of gold though, so it gets to a point where uh, you you probably take more risks than uh, usual. Not risks, but you do mm -hmm. you do plays because you know you can let two v one and stuff. That's the, the best point mm -hmm. you can you can have. It's not bad. Yeah. But I would. Uh, it's fine. It's not bad to go for this. I I think. But again, you don't know where anybody is, so might as well just play a yeah. bit safe until you get my maybe. Morgana's twice. coming top. Morgana's coming top anyway, so I'm just like chilling. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's fast forward this. So you stay top. Dragon is spawning soon, so they they will probably back and go towards Dragon. You go towards mid straight away. You should have just pushed this wave again. Dragon is not spawning yet. Okay, you should just push this wave again too, and then look for a roam. Okay, try to get as many waves as possible before doing this. You lose this wave because you just go straight away. Okay. So yeah, I was just taking the safe. I was taking the safe way around because Kazakh and. That's fine. I'm just, Rumble I'm just, uh, I just want to get as many waves as possible before going for any play. Okay, and sure, you, you can sure. do it. If they come to you, it's even better. You maybe just two v one. Guys are dead. Play is over. You should just give up dragon at this point. If you go for this, you probably just coin flip as well. Just go back. Okay, he TPs. Yeah, 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 we don't know yeah. this. We just know we see it on replay. But yeah, it's fine. Now the play is over. You should not be thinking about this anymore. You should be thinking about getting this, getting this, and getting more ahead. Okay. Yeah. This wave is pushing to you, so it's fine to recall if you have anything to spend. You have 2k, so you can just recall. Um, uh, yeah, it's just straight up. That's against. unlucky. That's the first. Yeah. That's the first. That's not unlucky. That's int. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, yeah, I think I just got too greedy there. So everybody's yeah. dead. Yeah. That's it. Uh, this yeah. guy fucks up, of course. You get a kill, but we all we know that this guys are dragon. Yeah, we for sure 100. They already take dragon here. So now, yeah. everybody's on dragon, everybody's alive except this guy. You're 2v4 and you run towards this guy to just kill him. But this is this is what I'm talking about. It's not consistent place. And if you do, do these things, you'll just show your lead. Now you give up, you're level sure. 12. If you level 12 and die, you give a lot of XP to the opponent. Also shut down gold. Shut down gold is not too much. But uh, if you do this, then you'll just, you'll not be able to carry, carry ever. Okay? Mm. So mm. again, sure. we don't know where they, I mean, we know where they are. We don't run into four people with two people. That's a... Uh, that should be, and you also lose wave top because of that. Okay. Yeah. So sure, it all sure. adds up. So that's the first mistake that you cannot carry, uh, and probably will happen more. Just inconsistent plays. 
that was costing people a lot in this uh, elo. And overstaying. That's two things that happen a lot. Okay, what do you, what do, you do now? Let's see. Uh, I don't... So you go mid, why? You have to always go catch waves. Let's say you go mid to catch wave, then you go top straight away to catch the wave here, okay? You don't you don't just stay around looking for fights. You always want to push waves first, then look for fights in case, okay? Sure. Catch wave before it. Nobody's on the map. Don't face check. Just wait a bit. Wait for them to just make something. Or just you, do, you put a word here if you have it. If you don't, just go maybe wait a bit, okay? Two are mid. I'm just really, just mid. really worried because, just really worried because all the, like a lot of the gold is on me. So if any team fights we lose, pretty hard. So yeah, I just no to problem. You just be there, there, be there close enough. I see, so I, I see, respond. I see the concern. Everybody has this concern. Like if I don't, uh, if I'm not there, they, they, my team will just end. Okay, but if you do this, then you also end yourself. So it's not, it's not good. I mean, this is okay. You just push the wave and now you look for a hover. This is yeah, because rumble's fine. top, right? Yeah, this is fine. Yeah. This is fine, but uh, you look for hover, you do this thing, you go back, you go bot now, you catch the wave bot maybe. If you don't just stay ARAM mid, that's what I'm not. Tr I'm trying to get you thinking, okay? Right, if you I go can. top, you have sure. more chances to just run him down maybe. It's, it's more uh, likely to just you running him down than winning a team fight, okay? For example, sure. stuff like that. So instead of walking around, you should have just went top straight away. I mean, yeah, this is just, uh, you know, random things happening. People maybe getting kills, throwing the game and stuff. But this is not consistent. Let's see. I fucked up there. I should have gone on the fucking Caitlyn, not the fucking Nami. I died from this. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so again, this is <laughs> also why you, you're not carrying your lead. Because now you don't have a lead anymore, I think. I mean, you have a lead against this guy, but... Uh, these guys are all strong, as strong as you. And... So there's just two inconsistent plays that you did that didn't that didn't get you anything. Okay, that's why I'm trying to get you thinking to not to be a consistent player. Okay, why just go for this? You get a kill, or whatever. Okay, May, two or three waves are worth more than a kill probably. Okay, so just try to get as many advantages with the waves as possible. Get your get your items, and eventually you can run people down and just be a force in the team fights. But at the moment you never even have two items yet. Okay, so I should just. Stay and catch as many waves as possible. Catch waves. This. Maybe you can also like try to just catch the silenters that are catching the waves themselves. Okay, you have ghosts. You can just try to just get vision. Let's say you you push the wave here, and uh, you, let's say you you show yourself that you back off. Then you put a pink ward here. You stay here for a bit. Maybe you just run him down this way, and you get a kill in the side lane. And then you have pressure here, and then you push the wave again, and then you can maybe push a tower or just roam with your team. It's 45. Okay. Sure. So sure. just uh, use the vision you have. Use the space you have in the map. You have. You can use vision. You can deny vision. You can catch people off silent. Maybe you can just uh, force four v fives. Let's say this guy has no TP and you have. Uh, you push the wave. He's forced to stay here and get the wave. If not, you just take tower. If he's standing here, then you go roam with your team, make it a four v five. Okay. So it's a lot of things happening that you can do, but uh, you walking into four people here and you going get flashing on Nami or Kaelin, whatever here, to just get a kill for nothing else, then this will not help you at all. Okay. I mean, the team got team got the two kills. I I just die, but I mean, I get your point. Yeah, for sure. I need to just shove the lanes and I get killed. You're mainly as playing for yourself, playing not, not for the team. When you're playing Darius and most of the champions right. on top lane. Because your team can just, they don't know. Let's see. No, so I again, don't get them. They're too far. So now, you got a dragon. Yeah, it's fine. Two are dead and there's part. This, you going for this is fine, okay? I'm not just saying that you don't have to go for any team fights and whatnot. You just have to take the yeah. favorable things and just play around the information you have and play, always play, uh, take like pick your fights, okay? Right. right. Again, you got a kill there, whatever. You have some gold to spend. You got a Steros gauge. Perfect, okay. Now go clear side lanes, clear camps if they're up. And then go back to just maybe roaming again. Okay, now you just kill him, I think. Uh, yeah, we get him here. Yeah, yeah, just simple. They're both pushing bot here. Now th uh, this this is this is confusing. Okay, like I think. Okay, so I don't think Lucian backs. This this guy backs. Jax is tanking. I want I want him to switch aggro so I can tank because I can heal. Yeah. Right, because he's, oh, he's about to die. Yeah, this guy should have. Yeah, this, you should have. So just... no, so no. It's pause, pause, pause. From here, do what? Do I do I just back? Do, does if 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 Jax, if Jax went back to Baron, did I should I skip 
get in the Baron? Or do so I once this guy backs off, you back off as well. Once this guy, look, this guy just backs off straight away. They're pushing bot heavy, okay? Yeah. You, this guy is just to recall. This is not on the same page. This guy backs off. You back off as well now. This is, you're not doing this in your two of you very okay. fast. And then you're just losing here too much. Okay? So either full commit with your team on this play. Or you just full commit to this or, play. Okay? You, yeah. don't, you don't be in between. You're, you're not in between ever. Okay? This, this is uh, this is weird, of course. Like, uh, we, we lose in here. That's it. Lose in here, but also not get Baron. So if the Lucian stay, you yeah. probably get Baron here. And it was good. Yeah, and I'm saying it wasn't a good call. But the guy, if you just ping him to go, maybe he stays. If not, just go back. You cannot do it anymore. Maybe go back mm -hmm. and maybe you mm -hmm. catch them while they're trying to get the inhibitor. Okay. Mm. So yeah, that's a that's a that's that's a team thing <laughs> though. So it's not too much on you, to be honest. Yeah. Well, you gotta. Almost an ace, so whatever. Like I said, at this point, everything what's happening is mainly coin flips, but uh, that's why I, I want you to play in a consistent manner. Okay, from now on, this is just sure, if you sure. if you just walking randomly into fights and not like basing on knowledge you have or on information, or maybe force a, fo a favorable fight for you, then you just uh, coin flip in the game and you might maybe win sometimes, maybe just lose most of the times. Okay. So now, whatever happens here is just a coin flip because at this point in the game, inhibitor is taken down and whatnot, Baron is on the table. Then you cannot do too much that is not a coin flip anymore. Now you should have been uh, very strong at this point with items, a lot of items, a lot of mm. uh, mm. uh, And mm. now, this is where the coin flip starts, okay? Now this is where you can afford to do coin flips because you're so strong. You're not now, okay? Because you did mm. so many coin flip things that didn't allow you to be in a position to just be, uh, you know, very strong at this point when you know the team fights will happen. This is unavoidable mm. at some point, but you have to use the early game as much as possible, early to mid game as much as possible, because that when uh, you can do things on yourself to uh, rely, rely build, on build build a bigger lead basically. Bigger build, yeah, bigger lead, I... and eventually you can. If it gets to this point somehow, if you don't win too too early, then you'll be ready for this point. Okay, but now you're not ready and uh, true too much, and now it's just in the hands of whoever throws more and whoever plays the team fight better. Okay. So that's what's happening in this game mainly. Uh, so basically, I sh I should have just s stuck in this sidelines more and snowball harder. More, more of pushing lanes. More of trying to get, deny vision, get vision. More of trying to get, kill a silent internet with a ghost up if it's if it's available. More of trying to uh, force a fight. If, let's say the uh, forty-five is this guy is pushing here. Uh, more of yeah. trying to deny vision. Maybe kill the jungler. Maybe get jungle camps. More of consistent place, not. Not inconsistent plays. Not that coin just flip team fights. Coin sure, flip team sure. fights that maybe just running into four people. Maybe just uh, you know standing here when the, the two three guys of your team died. Why just go? Just go do your thing. Play is over. Just think about it. It's all about being consistent. Okay, all about uh, choosing the, the, your fights and choosing how you want to play and not just be reliant on your team too much. Okay, sure. All sure. about thinking about the jungler every time you do something. You just want to think. Uh, if he's here or not, if, do I have information? No, just I just chill, wait for my opportunity. Okay, some games are unwinnable. Okay, uh, but you just play your best. That's what you can do, and eventually you'll climb. Okay, uh, in gold, sure. in gold, and lower gold, most of the games are more winnable than you think. So uh, it's not a problem, right? So all clear so far. I think this is all there is to this game. To be honest, this is what happened. So any questions? Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's all good, man. All good.